today we're doing a direct comparison of StreamYard versus Riverside FM. And I'm going to get right to the point on what the differences are of these tools because I respect your time. So first, let's look at the pricing of StreamYard versus Riverside. If we pay for a monthly plan, StreamYard has a free plan that's $0, but there's a watermark on all your videos, which is unacceptable. Then the core plan is $25 a month, and you get full 1080, multi-stream 3 destinations, or you can pay $49 a month and get 4K in 8 destinations. Riverside, on the other hand, has a free plan, but you only get 720p with that, which which is garbage. Then their standard plan is $15 a month. Or actually, no, if you pay monthly, their standard is $19 a month. But you get up to 4K resolution with that, which I really like. And their pro is $29 a month. And the main feature you get with these is how many hours of track recordings you get. The standard is five hours and the pro is 15 hours. Okay, so next let's talk about key differences on what makes these tools different and what you can do with them. So one of the key differences of stream yard versus Riverside is you can live stream in multiple locations at the same time. Riverside on the other hand you're kind of just stuck at streaming in one location. That being said though you could use a service like Restream to kind of put it in different locations. I've tried this Restreaming personally though and I find that the quality really suffers when you're kind of like throwing it around in different places. And the algorithms they desire different things on different platforms and I've just steered away but that's my personal opinion. So the biggest pro that I think StreamYard has on all of these streaming services is how easy it is to use. Like as soon as I get into Riverside, things get way more complicated. And I love Riverside because Riverside has its pros. Like for example, they do 4K video recordings. Like when you're doing this, you can record in 4K, which on StreamYard, it just, it, the quality isn't as high. And guys, if you're looking for more information on these two tools, I'll throw my affiliate links in the description. So StreamYard has ease of use, whereas Riverside has a little higher quality of video production. If you get into StreamYard, their user interface is extremely easy to use. It's almost, it feels like an Apple product. This is what the user interface looks like. You click on home here, where you can click on live stream, create a recording, or an air webinar. And a recording is essentially just like a plain old video, like you do a screen recording, like I am for this video. Then if you click on the library, that's where all your previous recordings are. Your destinations are all your social platforms that you connect. And that's pretty much it with StreamYard. Riverside has a lot more customizable features. Like we can record, we can plan, they have a scheduler, we can upload, we can edit. They have a built-in video editor. They have AI voice things. Riverside is sort of known for their studio quality recordings. We can also use their built-in video editor. What's really cool is like, say when you're done shooting your video or your recordings, they upload into Riverside and then we can edit them using the video editor. So if that's something that interests you and you don't have a video editor, they can you can use Riverside FM to video edit. I'm gonna upload this video into Riverside here just to give you an idea what the editor looks like quick because I really love it. So while that uploads into Riverside, I think I should show you how easy it is to live stream on StreamYard because I personally believe if live streaming is a big deal to you and you're looking for ease of use and aren't super great at technology, then I truly believe StreamYard is the choice for you. So I just connected my YouTube channel here, and if I click on live stream, choose a channel, I can title the live stream, hey guys, and then do a description, create live stream. Now we're gonna enter the studio in which we can do all this. So here's the studio that we use to kind of customize all of our live streaming stuff. My camera isn't connected because I'm using it on the screen recorder here, but you can get the gist here. So while you're live streaming live, you can actually see comments come up live here on the right, right hand side and you can actually reply to them publicly, which is a huge feature. We can add custom banners here as well. See right here, it shows right here. You can customize this. This is an example of a banner. You can add brand ability here a little bit. Then if you click on the brand tab, we can add stuff like themes, colors. You can put your custom logo in here and then do custom overlays behind you and such. You can do intro clips. You know, if you're trying to set up like a podcast or like streaming setup where people are coming in and you're interacting with them, I think StreamYard wins this comparison. But if you're looking to shoot high quality videos and maybe interviews and record them at a higher quality and possibly do video editing on your own videos, then Riverside is definitely the choice for you. This is what the video editor looks like right here. And as you can see here, we can do transcript editing. If you guys know anything about that, it's a huge time saver. 
I can literally just delete the words here and it will edit the video. I can literally just go in here and highlight the words and delete them and it will edit the video based on the words. Guys, if you're looking to sign up for either of these tools, consider using my affiliate links in the description. I feel like I helped you here. Maybe you can help me back. Hit me up in the comments and let me know. What are you looking for as a tool? Are you going to be creating podcasts? Are you going to be doing like an interactive live stream? I'd love to hear from you. This is my breakdown of Riverside FM versus StreamYard comparison. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.